Yes, alright. My lambs! We are ready. Sanctus Satana Sanctus. We once have been blessed with your beautiful form. In the asylum atop the mountain, we implore you, return to us. Return to us, Satanas Vineri. Return to us that we may see your beautiful form once more. Ave Satanas Ave. For in this episode, we sirs are playing Outlast. And welcome to this playthrough. As you can probably tell, I am really excited for this game. I haven't been spoiled, I just came back from Japan, and the game apparently is awesome. So if you sirs are ready for some, a little bit of horror, a little bit of fright, a little bit of skin crawling, then I suggest you strap yourselves in and let's get ready for probably the most anticipated horror game of the year. And hopefully Satan won't actually show up after I actually found the demonic chant for him. Because that would suck. Outlast 2 contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual assault and strong language. Please enjoy. Okay sirs, here we go. Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You are Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant and cameraman. Record everything, neither of you are fighters. To investigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert, your only choices are to run, hide or die. Alright, so, so same concept as in the first one. You can't beat shit up, you're weak as fuck so you've got to run from everything. And you're also a journalist, like in the first one. Oh, here we go. Premonition then. Oh, I had to get that hospital footage organized. Is this a wife then? Oh, what? that's never good, sirs. Jessica. When a woman says Jessica. that, you're in deep shit. You know a Jessica? Oh, oh yeah, see? No, there you go. No. There, mean, there's the sass. I was dreaming about Jessica Gray from when we were kids. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't thought Ooh. about her in ages. Hey, we're Sounds like a sore topic. All right. Now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. There's always the something out blood, there, sirs. She had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. If you say so, man, you bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? Yeah. Sure. Good point. Damn, I wish I should have played this game before I you went on, on holiday to Japan. Up. I would have done a lot better vlog. Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to- Whoa! Whoa. What the fuck? I think the audio is the least of your problems. You sure there, man? Oh, that was exciting. Yeah, a little bit too much for my, for my liking. Okay. Tutorial. Nice, nice. Should I also be doing this before I record? Okay. Maybe it would help. All right, hello. Oh, this is our wife then. We're flying past the Havasupai Indian mm. Reservation in Central Arizona in okay. search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, Do. um, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. <laughs> That's what the police report says. We may play this she strangled herself to death? The first 30, we need to get the word murder in that sounds very she improbable. The fetus too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try what happened to the fetus? Intro for the whole piece. Tell me what the we're hell? Getting. Okay. Okay, good, go. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from here. Oh, I don't like this, sirs. Whoa! Whoa, nice catch, bro! Jesus. Oh man, this looks sick. Can you imagine having that in the in the VR? 
Okay. I think that cross is the wrong way up, but... Hello? How the hell did I get here? Oh. Oh, that is freaky. Wait. Oh, what is going on? Okay, okay. So we've got ourselves a little hallway. We've got ourselves Jesus. He's not as buff as Korean Jesus, but... Okay! That shit's freaky! Man, why do the spooks have to begin already? Like, I was just gonna pray to Jesus. That's all I wanna do. Res res respect my religious freedoms, man. He hello? Uh... Looks like a young- Jessica's closet! Okay. Interesting. Um... Lord and Savior? You've got any, uh... You got any ad any advice? <laughs> I really- Really- Oh, hello! Um, are you here to, to talk about, have it take some time about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Uh, five past six. Okay. Okay. Got some nice, uh, uh, little projector here. Okay. Alright, um, I'd really appreciate if the music stopped ramping up. That, that'd be great. Uh, uh, feel like something's gonna be behind me. Nope, just the corridor getting progressively darker. If the wailing chorus could stop, that'd be great, okay? Ah! Okay. Oh! We're not alone here. Oh, it's something straight out of The Shining! What the hell was that? Okay. Well, it seemed to be some sort of dream. I have escaped the helicopter with my life. That already in itself is a miracle. There we go. Get this bullshit off me. And my camera survived. Somehow. Please tell me you have night vision. Because without that in the first game... Fuck. Oh no, that's the rest of it. What about our wife? You can always see your objectives by pressing tan. But I know my objective is to find my wife! Oh man, nothing's gonna survive that. Well, I did, but I'm not burning in the flames. Easy does it, easy does it. Jump, nicely done. Okay. I feel like something's gonna pursue us really freaking. Oh, I nearly died in the first five minutes. Important event should be captured on video. Okay, here we go. When the red light blinks, it means you're aiming correctly at the recording event. Aha! Interesting. And documented. Perfect. This will go extremely well on my vlogging channel. Alright. Uh, now let's check for dead bodies. <laughs> but first, let's film it, you know. You've got to preserve the shot. Okay. That's good, sirs. So, what happened to the pilot as well? He's probably fucked. Aha! The night vision returns. Nice, because I was already fucking lost. Oh, what is that over there, sirs? <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck That's me. probably the pilot. Oh, fuck, oh I fuck, said he was fuck. fucked. Oh, man, you are not in a good place right now. Not happened in the crash. Nope. <laughs> I've never seen a helicopter crash do that to someone. Oh, and my battery's running out. Fan-fucking-tastic. Okay. Well, Joe, thank you for your service. Um... Probably regret taking this job right now, but hey, um, yeah, there's no redeeming qualities of this at all. <laughs> Sometimes there's the silver lining just doesn't exist. You can look back by holding left alt. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. That usually means something's going to come right at me and it's not going to be good because I'm just in this long tunnel and I can go either one way or the other. So... Reload, okay, yep, I'm just gonna let the batteries go down a little bit. We have to be cons cons conservative with our batteries, although if it, if it keeps flickering like that, I won't be able to deal. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, please game, please be gentle. Okay. Oh, he can actually see, how about yeah. that? Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh, I've, I, I think this part was in the demo. I've seen parts of it, sirs, and it was, the parts I saw were, we're not pleasant, to say the least. But hey, we've got a beautiful moon. We've got some, some, somewhere to somewhere to to to, to, to rest up. Um, to start a life here. Hello, hello. Well, sirs, if you thought the first one had had atmosphere, this takes the fucking cake. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, got ourselves a little outhouse. Very nice, very nice. Is there anything in the outhouse? No, nope, but I there's, there's there's I feel like there's something behind me. It's just a door, sirs. It's okay, just a door slamming. He'd be slamming with a little bucket. Okay, is there? Is there? Hello, Jesus, once again. Um, you're not being very... Okay, you're not being very helpful. Hey. Uh, oh! Hey, man. Oh, this guy's oh, shit. dead. Oh, yeah, shit. You're definitely, definitely dead. Dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear what we've done and not being part of our little ones, so I'm going to go over and hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind, and God forgives me this last trespass. I know what they, uh, they had to be offered up, but I'm all tore up inside. I'm all torn up inside, and I can't live no more. Hopefully the end will come soon, and we can be together again, unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what you woman comfort you need in the arms of Papa. Noth. Yours forever, Tom. Good God, not only is the freaking dead body horrifying, but so is the spelling. Man, do you even know grammar? <gasps> you don't know syntax, but at least you got some batteries. Question is, sirs, what do they offer? Oh, okay. Oh! Fuck! It's just a door! How could a door be so fucking scary? Okay, fuck that place. Um, right. So what did they offer up, sirs? That is the question. Uh, did they offer up Ave Maria? Probably- Oh! Okay, sir, please back away. What the hell is this? Why are you eating a cow with a pitchfork? Just how big are you? Okay, sirs, so far so good. Is- is that another dead person? Yep, that's another dead person. We've got dead persons galore here for some reason. Coming from far and wide. I'm here to bring you screams, despair, and dead people. Um, can you please open up? Oh, shit. Holds open. Fucking sake, man. Open the door slowly. Don't just burst in. Okay, we're fine now. This place is... Can I... Bandages! Yes, I'll have one of those. You don't need a bandage right now. Well, thanks for fucking telling me. Why are, why are you wasting everyone's time, game? Oh my god, it's a fucking essay. Dear Father, our loving God continues to bless me with visions and... The earth and birth some great and slouching horror from the fire. Jesus fucking Christ, that was a sentence. Dude, do you even know how to use a full stop? But I would take a greater comfort in the, your manhood inside me and a firm prayer that the Antichrist be strangled in my room, the most faithful of your flock in holy longing. What the fuck is going on? Why are you accepting this guy's manhood? Just look at his face, man. There's only one fucking eye. Okay, good. I can still hide in the closet. Perfect. This reminds me of my teenage years. Well, thank you, Lisa, for that beautiful piece of work with no full stops and the bandages, but um, I unfortunately have to go, and we shall open the door slow, 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 slow. Why aren't you opening the door? There, there we go. Okay, no more people than before. Excellent, sirs. Okay, nice. Nothing too scary so far. Just the occasion... That's... Oh, that's fucked up. What is? It's just a rocking horse, man. It's definitely creepy, but considering you've just seen a dead body, like, five meters that way, it, <laughs> it kind of puts things in, into perspective. Okay, hello, another one of its kind residents. Hello there, sir. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Oh, I have to get in through the window. Oh, fuck! Fucking birds! Oh... Thought the only the crows and dark souls could fuck me up that badly, but apparently not. All right, I'm through the window. Okay. First, first scare of the game, not too bad. Okay, let's open this door. What about that? Uh, ooh. Please, no batteries. No fucking batteries. Are you serious, man? Come on. I'm running low. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I need to see. Thank you very much. Right, we're on the other side. Okay, sirs. Not too bad. We haven't we haven't died just yet. We had a little scare. The, um, little had a little scream, but that that's okay. Fuck me. <gasps> None of this is okay. Satanas indimati today. Satan something god. God. Yep. 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 How apt was that intro, sirs? Uh. Into the creepy dungeon we go, I guess. 
Um, what is that? Okay, looks like an altar. Nice. Nice. More beautiful things. Excellent. What is this? Okay, let's have a little read. Great, I think we've had enough of that. So, th there's some issue with childbirth here. Now, uh, is it the pro-life, uh, like, pro-choice debate? You know, I know in America it's really serious, but I didn't think it'd get this... This bloody. Uh... Ah, fuck. What the fuck is this? God. Man. Dad. Oh, it's in the sign of a cross as well. I... Why would you make a cross out of dead babies? Like, someone's taking arts and crafts way too seriously. Oh, that kind of made me a bit ill, to be honest, sirs. Mmm. And that's not helping. Alright, sirs, unfortunately, this is where I'm gonna have to leave this episode of Outlast 2. I decided to split this recording session into two, because I think if not, the videos will be too long. But don't worry, part two will be coming out tomorrow. So if you sirs are excited for that and, if in, and you've enjoyed Outlast 2 so far, please don't forget to bestow a like and subscribe to become a sir today. So as always, stay cool, stay classy, and I will see you sirs in the next episode.